In our previous tip, we talked to you about camera and capturing your film digitally. Now you may have gone ahead and shot your project on celluloid, and if so, I don't have any cost savings tips for you. But here's a few green tips to consider. When selecting your post company, make sure they adhere to the following green practices. One, choose a company that uses dry cleaning techniques and not chemical cleaning when processing film. If not, ensure they have a sustainability policy that includes a set of waste management protocols and procedures that are compliant for the disposal of photographic processing chemicals. And finally, check if they send used film to be recycled. But if you have chosen to shoot with a digital tapeless format like the Red One, your impact on the environment has already been reduced. However, if you're treating your digital material like it were film, I recommend sending it to a lab for processing. I'm here at Red Lab in Toronto. They operate on similar principles as a traditional film lab without the material or chemical waste associated with processing film. They offer an overnight service that will back up your material, process it with a supervised one light color correction, and organize it on a hard drive for your editor. And by viewing your dailies on a hard drive or an FTP service, you'll be eliminating the need for DVD or tape screeners, thus reducing further waste. If your budget can accommodate it, I recommend using a company like Red Lab. Not only will your production benefit from the convenience, the costs associated are more than reasonable considering the peace of mind you get, and you'll be keeping the planet beautiful at the same time. For more tips on greening your production, go to mymilliondollarmovie.com green or download the entire Green Practices Guide from greenscreentoronto.com.